Hello guys, this is Shoei from Unite Solutions and today we are going to discuss how do we select the horn and beacon light for the hazardous location. The selecting the horn and beacon light for the hazardous locations involves consideration related to the specific characteristics of the environment and the potential risk present. Hazardous locations are areas where the atmosphere contains or may contain combustible gases, liquids, vapors and combustible dusts and other such materials. In such environment, it is critical to use uh, the equipment that is designed and certified for safety. So the first step is to understand the hazardous area classification. Either your area is zone 1, zone 2, zone 21 or zone 22, class 1 for the gases, class 2 for the dust. You have to familiarize yourself in which environment you are going to install your uh, Huda beacon light. Step number 2 complies with the standards. Ensuring that the warning lights and horns comply with the relevant safety standards uh, such as set by the organization like OSHA for United States and IEC for other regions. Step number three, explosion proof rating. When you use the equipment in hazardous location, it is, it is standard to use explosion proof certified equipment like this. It is mentioned that EX, it is a certified explosion proof material. And step number four, temperature and environmental condition. When selecting the horn and warning lights, it is used. It is always considered temperature and environmental condition because some places have extreme temperature. Number five, types of warning light. Choose the warning light and horn for the uh, best audible and visual signaling in the specific environment. Number seven and the most important is certification and approvals. Ensure that the equipment you are using is certified and approved from the uh, recognized bodies. For example, ATEX is in Europe and UL for USA. Number 8 integration with your safety system. If your facility has a safety management system ensure that the warning lights and the horns can seamlessly integrate with your safety management system. Number 8 the training and documentation is a very important step and even in big companies this step is neglected. Ensure we have to ensure that the person engaged in this safety management systems is properly trained and know the potential risk associated with these warning lights and holder. It has to be a very properly trained in maintenance and use of these lights. In the end, always concerned with a safety expert, HSC engineers, to ensure that the product you are using is meeting your requirement and then ends up to the compliance standards. If you like this video, I suggest you to please like and subscribe my channel for further videos. Thank you very much.